Previously on Big Brother, Hardy won this week's Head of Household. Yay! <laughs> and vowed revenge on the Chilltown Alliance. Get this out of my house. Hardy made good on his promise. He nominated Will and Shannon. Shannon, I nominated you, and Will, I nominated you. And put the happy couple in a very difficult position. I refuse to fight Shannon. I, I love her. Um, sweetheart, you told me not to be upset, and I'm doing good, but I can't see you like this. It was a week of romance. <laughs> and revenge. <laughs> Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. I think I'm going to go clean the toilet. Shannon took Hardy's toothbrush and scrubbed the toilet. You're, I'm, sure, I'm sure your friends and family are really proud of your actions. It was a week of dissension. He's not gonna tell me how to act or how to, who I like and who I don't like. I think it was Bunky who came up with the name Top. The other people, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Krista is not a member of Top. There's always that doubt in my mind as, as to where she stands or if she's trying to stand on both sides. And a week of introspection. Everybody hates me. I'm a complete moron. I'm a uh, self-centered, egotistical, complete psycho. This has turned me into an ugly person, man. Who will be evicted? Shannon is sure she's out. I'm leaving on Thursday. But will her housemates play her game? She's so sure she's going to go out, and Will's so sure he's going to stay in. I almost feel like making Shannon stay here, and she may just completely lose her mind. And how will the Big Brother couple deal with their forced breakup? If you ask for something, you're going to get it. If you put two people up against each other who care about each other, the other one's going to come back and try to stab you in the heart twice as hard. Big Brother begins now. Good evening and welcome to Big Brother. It's day 26 inside the Big Brother house behind me. Of the original 12 house guests, nine remain. Last Thursday, Hardy won head of household. He nominated two of his housemates for eviction, Will, the doctor from Miami Beach, and Shannon, the realtor from San Antonio. In the next hour, one of these two will be evicted and later, another house guest will succeed Hardy as head of household. Hardy makes no secret he wants to break the Chill Town Alliance. He says he doesn't like how Will, Shannon, and Mike are playing the game. But Shannon is playing her own game. Since her nomination, she has tried to take control of her destiny by asking her housemates to vote her out. Just one problem, Hardy still holds the power. As head of household, he casts the deciding vote in case of a tie. And he has other ideas how Shannon should go. Make sure that you vote for me. I don't want it to be Hardy being able to decide who leaves. And she's trying to take the power away from Hardy. Every dog has their day, and he's had his. She basically said, it doesn't mean that these people don't like me. It's just that they did me a favor, because that's what I told them to do. Whatever. He's already had enough of his little power trip. She's so sure she's going to go out, and Will's so sure he's going to stay in. Who votes again this week? Is it even, and the head of household doesn't matter? It's three to three. And then the head of household doesn't matter. Okay. Head of household will have to break the vote. Oh, really? Yeah. I can make it go the other way, simply to um, make it not go her way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen what a psycho bitch I can be that I think I have secured that pretty well that they'll vote me out of the house. If we keep her in here, Mike will have to deal with not having his boyfriend, <laughs> and so will Shannon. I think people will vote to evict me just because they're scared and stupid. They keep hinting like everybody's plotting against me and they're gonna vote you out. They probably are. Why would they do that to me after me being the raving lunatic all week? I'd at least like it to come down to 3-3. Three, three. That way I have a say it and I can put that in her face. Let me talk to Monica and uh, we'll go from there. I ain't never been to the HOH room. Oh, you haven't? Uh-uh. Let me show you around. <laughs> 
I was wondering if you would be willing to cast your vote for Will. Uh -huh. And I want to see if Bunky and Kent will do the same. And I think everyone else is going to vote for Shannon. So it would be 3-3. Three, three. I, I want to have the last vote. Okay, well, let me think about it. Sure. Because you don't have to give me an answer no, right now, but I'm, whenever I'm, you get a chance. Okay. Go back, come back and give me one for a second. I just had a thought. Would you like some strawberries? Would you have barbecue lace potato chips? Ooh, they're all yours. Now, that sounds good and all to me, and I hear you. Now, I got to consider myself in this game, too. I know I'm a target for Will anyway. Okay. So I choose Will to go out. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Well, Shannon, she's been man. Yeah. Why am I a coward? Because of your jealousy of Will and I. How Why would I be jealous of you and Will? I don't like you, you or you. And I want all three of you to know it. I'm coming at you. Tonight's two nominees, Will and Shannon. No matter which one leaves, one thing's for sure. Their courtship inside the house is about to end. What will become of their relationship outside the house remains to be seen. The other night, the house came together to make a special evening for the two. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I really like that. Shannon asked me out on a date. It was an aggressive move. We know each other quite well now, but oh my God, this is like the first date. Nicole's like, okay, okay, I'll cook something good. And, and Monica's like, okay, I'll wait on you and everything. So it was like kind of cute. Will came out looking all stunning as always. And uh, we went outside. I'm very nervous. I, I, it's been a while since I went on a date. It's such a beautiful really? woman. Yeah. It's been a while, huh? She's made me, in many ways, um, a softer, more caring human. I know that's difficult to believe in three weeks. Our gangly crew came out and brought us our meal. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, isn't that's lovely. Just... This would be for you. you. All right, then. Oh, who's better than you guys? Look at this. You were. If you did anything else, please summon. Absolutely. <laughs> it was very sweet to ask me out. I know. It seems to be like becoming a habit it's with really me. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I'm glad you think so. Look at the moon. Hmm? It's beautiful, right? Isn't it pretty? Couldn't be any more perfect. I think the date for Will and Shannon was very important because they have met and are in the process of falling in love. You have beautiful hands. But now that they're both nominated, it's a guarantee that one of them is going to go. And, um, you know, I think it was cool that Will and Shannon just got to be alone because in this house, there is virtually no time to be alone. What qualities do you look for in a boy when you're in the day? Well, the first quality I look for in a man is uh, attitude, intelligence. Mm -hmm. Duh. Would never go out with anybody who smoked. Of course. My relationship with Shannon is independent of this show, and as it is right now, it's very strong. It's very positive. I think Shannon's a wonderful girl, and I have high hopes for us. We've learned a lot about each other on a personal level, and hopefully that'll only make us stronger outside of here. Oh, we were in the hot tub, and I purposely didn't kiss you. If I missed you, and then I, and then I went around, and then um, I looked over, and you were kind of, I thought for a second you were going to be like, listen, you missed me. You were that Shannon! <laughs> I think that was the moment I was in love. Then you did? <laughs> the beauty of this entire situation is realizing that there are things that are a lot more important than money, um, you know, and then fame, and that's uh, having someone in your life who you care about. I would rate our date as perfect, a perfect ten. Tonight is eviction night. The game began 12 house guests strong. Of the nine who remain, six cast their votes to evict. The nominees, Will and Shannon, are not permitted to vote, and Hardy, as head of household, votes only in the event of a tie. All votes are cast in secret in the diary room. Mike is the first to vote. Well, it's a difficult week. Shannon is one of the nominees, and um, this was a girl that obviously caught my eye when we first showed up the very first day. I thought maybe she was just using Will to get in with Chilltown and, and come along for the ride, but I feel like I've really gotten to know her. The other nominee uh, this week is Will. Unfortunately, it's uh, two of my closest friends here in the house. She rocked 30 bathing suits that were oh so teeny. 
I'm really gonna miss this girl in her fly bikinis. Although it feels like I'm shooting a friend with a cannon, I gotta keep Will so Mike Boogie votes to evict Shannon.